What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a new video. We've looked at a lot of album related content. Today I thought we'd look at something different and look at some light sticks. You gotta make my fingers sparkle. You know what happens when you ask me to do things? What? Again, just a quick disclaimer, I'm a massive multi-stan, I stand so many groups and as you'll see I have a lot of different light sticks, so no hate to any of these groups. It is purely just the design of a piece of shiny plastic that lights up. Just like albums, light sticks can be pretty boring, but there are some really cool ones out there, especially lately. So I wanted to go through the ones that I have in my collection and do a sort of tier list. I told you it was a tier list, no? Well, it's a tier list. Well, I think it was, thought it was just about light sticks. Start lighting them on fire and stuff. That would be pretty cool. Light stick, but like old school style where you actually have to light it with a <laughs> with a lighter. When K stood for caveman. Caveman? With a K? There's been a few crazy designs um, over the years that I don't personally have in my collection, but I thought they deserved a bit of a shout out here anyway. The Vix light stick, which actually vibrated, which was a bit of a thing at the time. Vicks are always known for their quite like sexual concepts. This kind of just added to that and um, yeah, people kind of lost it over that one. So they sold a vibrator? Yeah. But they called it a light stick. Yeah. Someone had to do it. Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't been done again, to be honest. The do they have member versions of those? <laughs> it's shaped like they're something. Yeah. Epic High's light stick, which is basically this which I think is pretty funny. And a lot of people have bought it purely for that aesthetic. Too early in the video to include that. We'll just blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my light stick collection tier list. Now I'm going to be judging each light stick based on three criteria. Look, feel, function. Let's go! <laughs> now, even though these are all quite similar, they do have slight differences, so I do prefer some of them over others. They won't all be in the same tier. The first one we'll look at is the Ace light stick. You can see white light stick, bulb, and something inside. Inside we have the Ace logo. There is some glitter on the bulb, which is really nice. Pretty simple white stick with the button saying Ace. Oh, accidentally turned that on. Forget you saw that. And I've decorated it here with my bias, his name, and then a little picture of him on the back. Little strap with Ace and the logo written on there. This one is very, very simple. The middle doesn't even move or anything. There is a bit of rattling there, but that's just like broken bits of plastic in there. These light sticks can be pretty flimsy, so you have to be really careful with how you store them. <laughs> There is one cool detail about this though, but it's really hard to see on camera. On the base, it has a compass, and then around the edge here, it says Adventure Calling Emotions, Ace Adventure Calling Emotions, which is what Ace stands for. If you watch the last video on inclusions, I um, included that little uh, tidbit of information there. Bit of trivia. Feels very light and quite flimsy. Let's check the functionality of it. This is pretty cool, like it has multiple colors. So you've got red, all the three different settings, so on, more on, and very on, <laughs> and white as well. So double colors, that's all right. The weird thing about light sticks is you have to go through the whole cycle to like turn it off, which is kind of annoying. There's only one button. Yeah. Do some of them have multiple buttons? Stick around to find out and I'll find out as well. So this one, to be honest, even though Ace is one of my favorite groups, I wasn't super impressed with this light stick. I'm gonna put it in I think D tier. I think this is one of the least interesting light sticks I have. So it's going in D tier. The next one in this category of light sticks is the Stray Kids light stick. One of the first light sticks I ever got. Stray Kids are one of my first loves. Josh reminded me though that I do have a black pink light stick. One of the original ones with the, the squishy hearts on the side. Josh actually got that for me a while ago. Um, and that was my first ever light stick. But this was the first one that I bought with my own money. So it's pretty special to me. This one does have a part in the middle that spins, which is always nice. It's fun to play with. Let me get it spinning. Yeah. And the spinning part is a compass. It's also got Stray Kids on the, the plastic, which is nice. Like you don't really see that with a lot of light sticks. No glitter, which is a definite negative. Just your, your white your white stick with your little button with the Stray Kids logo. This, obviously, this didn't come with all these stickers on here. 
This is me decorating it. I got these stickers from different Stray Kids albums. It's a very common thing to decorate your light sticks. I haven't really done it with a lot of mine. I've put stickers on a couple. I have really played with the thought of completely decorating one. Like people will open them up and like stuff things into the bulb. And I think that would be really fun. There's one I'll show you a little bit later, which is the one that I've been thinking about decorating. So stay tuned for that and maybe you guys can help me design it. And on the time of decorating this, Felix was my Stray Kids bias. That position now belongs to Lino. It's really fun to do. Feel-wise, it's nice. A lot of these feel pretty like flimsy and cheap, but the piece inside seems kind of hefty, so it makes it feel a bit heavy. And Stray Kids actually have a new light stick now, which I don't have which is super fancy. And it's got like a little LED screen in it and everything. This had batteries in it already. If you guys know anything about light sticks, it's that you don't want to leave batteries in it. Whoopsie. It doesn't look like it's fused or anything. Like if one of them leaks then it just ruins the entire light stick. Negative. There we go. So you got a few settings. There's just the, oh, that looks great. Well, you're filming a light. <laughs> yes, filming a light is not ideal, is it? No. All right, so you got this setting. <laughs> you got this setting, slow, slow pulse. And then fast pulse. Do, 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 do. So pretty standard, just white light. Uh, fun fact though, this has been to two Stray Kids concerts and probably we'll go to another one this year. So I'll let you know as I come across them, which ones have actually seen the groups. Is it actually just white or is it one of those, it's only white for you? Oh, I don't know how it works, but somehow the concert can program the show to link up everyone's light sticks so that they're all different colors. I can't remember if that happened at the concert last year, but yeah, that's definitely something that can happen. And I think this one does go different colors. I think I remember seeing it red at one point. If you're just like hanging out at home playing with your light sticks, all you can get is white if you're not using an app or anything. That's bullshit. Function wise, I mean, I like that it's like got this rotating thing, even though it's really freaking hard to get it rotating sometimes. Um, but yeah, just having a white light and those three settings is kind of boring. So the Straker's light stick, I think I'm gonna put it at C tier. I kind of want to put it at C and a half tier. What is C and a half? Can we do that? C plus. C plus, oh yeah, I was thinking like C major, like C minor, you know, like <laughs> in notes. C sharp. C sharp, yeah, but that makes, makes way more sense to do C plus. No, but I want to make it C minus between C and D. C flat. This light stick I think was released probably 2018 or 2019. So it's a pretty old light stick and there are a lot more interesting ones on the market now. The next one is P1 Harmony. This one I bought very recently, actually. I bought it last year when I was in Korea because when I was in Korea, I bought tickets to go see P1 Harmony in Melbourne. Again, you've got your bulb and inside is like a little cross and it says P1H on it and it does spin. This one's very easy to make spin actually. The Stray Kids one, it takes a little bit of uh, I don't know, you've got to get it like at the right angle. It's super weird. This one spins really nice and easily. It's kind of got two domes. So an inner dome that's got like a pattern on it and then the outer dome with this, I don't know, ring around it. Actually, when I got this, it was broken. This part was like detached and I had to super glue it back together. That was something that happened with these light sticks. Like it wasn't just a me problem. It was like a wide problem where people were getting them and they were broken. Even the K-pop store in Melbourne, they had like a disclaimer on it. Like, oh, sorry if your P1 Harmony light stick's broken, like we can't do anything about it sort of thing. And you had to like sign a waiver to say that it didn't matter. That's definitely a design flaw with this. On here it says P1 Harmony and then you've got your button, another little ring thing. I kind of like the gray detailing. I think that kind of is nice. And this is rubber. So that's got a real nice like feel to it, a bit more grip. White string with P1 Harmony on it. Again with the strings. It's just gonna be string in every video. There's all these crosses on there, but one of them is black and the others aren't. Hmm, it's probably some meaning to that that uh, I'm not quite picking up on there. It turns out these things can be different. <laughs> Slightly smaller, so the other one doesn't fit. I thought I was being clever, just like taking this part out of one light stick, 
full of batteries and putting it in the next one so I didn't have to keep changing the batteries, but they're actually different. Now I'm probably confused which one's which. Okay, let's have a look at the functionality of this P1 Harmony light stick. White. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Blue. Purple. Was that, was that two blues? Yeah, it's like blue and then darker blue, but there's not much difference, huh? Yeah, I remember actually at the concert. My friend and I, we both had P1 Harmony light sticks, so we'd make sure that our light stick matched the lighting on stage, which I think is like a really fun thing that you can do. I love how, yeah, there's multiple colors. That That's really great. So I'm gonna give the P1 Harmony light stick a C plus because I just really love it. There's multiple colors, even though that it came broken and it feels a bit flimsy. I really love the multiple colors. Like, what was that? Like eight colors? That's insane. Next one, Cravity, Return of the Spin. Well, the last one span, but this one spins exactly like the Stray Kids one. Yeah, it's still got that kind of, it's a bit difficult to get it right. There you go. This one has glitter, which I love. I love it when they have glitter. Bit of a mashup of Stray Kids and Ace. It's like they had a baby and created this Cravity light stick. Even though this is a bulb, like it's kind of got an interesting shape to it. I think it's to make it look more like spacey and like futuristic. Cravity logo in there. And then this ring that's around the logo is kind of like a holographic-y kind of plastic, which actually looks pretty nice. And on it, it says, I'm trying to read it and it's spinning. Get closer. Yeah, so get closer is like their catchphrase or like their greeting. Get closer and then, you know, introduce themselves as Cravity. So that's cool. I like that it's got something sort of different written on it. Your white stick, little button, Cravity written on it. Your little white thing with Cravity written on it. <laughs> All right, let's have a little look at the functionality of this. Wow, white light. It's probably hard to see, but it looks really cool when you spin the thing because of that like kind of holographic detailing on that disc, a normal, flashing, and then flashing more. And that's it. Just white light again, pretty standard. I like how this is riveted. It feels quite nice to hold and it does feel quite heavy and hefty because of like this kind of extra plastic and the disc is quite heavy. I think I'll give it a C plus because I do like it a little bit more than the P1 Harmony one. It feels like a lot more sturdy and rigid. This one didn't come broken, so that's always a plus. And I really do like that holographic detailing and the glitter. It's just the little things like that. Again, shiny things. I like shiny things, okay? The next one I will look at is the One Us light stick. Again, a nice spinny action here. It's got double spin action, actually. Oh God, again, it's really hard to get it to spin properly. It's got that outer disc and then the globe there that kind of spins separately, which is a nice feature. Um, it's got glitter on the bulb, which again, I always love. Got a little One Us logo at the top there, One Us written there, and then just your button with the logo. White stick, to be honest, this one is like, really thick against the P1 Harmony one. Look how much thicker it is. He's thick. It actually makes it feel kind of like nicer to hold. String, one us written on there. It's in like a greeny blue color. Fairly standard, not super interesting. Um, I love one us, so I was a little disappointed when I saw this design, but I really do love that it's got the globe in there. It really goes with the kind of like one us theme, you know, all being together, everyone in the world. Very cute. Let's check the functionality of this one. I didn't put matches in it. It's gonna be like a compilation of just Kate struggling with light sticks. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that the button is super stiff. This one's different. You have to hold down the button to like turn it off. Kind of strange. All right, so let's have a look. First one is just plain white. Green. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Blue. Okay, so can it flash? Wasn't it flashing before? Or am I imagining things? Okay, maybe it doesn't flash. I don't know how to use my light sticks. What are you talking about? 
Yeah, so that's cool. I like it that it's got multiple colors. The look isn't great. It feels all right. This has to probably go maybe C minus tier, actually. I feel so sad because they're literally my favorite group, but this is really not my favorite. I'm sorry. No. It's just because they're all the same category, so they're all like kind of similar. Okay. You know what I mean? Yummy! Last one in this category of white stick with bulb with something inside. This category feels like it's gone forever because it kind of has. Is the only one of light stick. This one is really hard to spin. Like it actually doesn't really spin. And I believe it's supposed to. Yeah, see it's on a hinge, but you can't really make it spin. But that's um, the only one of logo. It's got some balls in it, which is like, actually my favorite part about this light stick and I think it kind of makes it it really makes it feel like a baby rattle and that's what everyone was calling it when it came out I feel like all light sticks are kind of like baby rattles to be honest I don't understand why it doesn't spin uh, it kind of does but it doesn't have that like motion that the other ones do you know like the strakers one once you get it going it fucking spins I wonder if over time it will loosen up and it will start spinning a bit do you want to see if you can get it to spin It's not, right? <laughs> Was that fun? No, carpal tunnel now. You got carpal tunnel? <laughs> Broke my wrist. You cannot see this at all, but on the base, it says only one of across there. And then you've got, yep, your white stick with your little button. Only one of written there. That's nice though, that's reflective. You gotta love that. And then the string, this also has color for the writing and it's like rainbow colored. Um, because it's only one of and they're like one of the gayest groups ever It feels okay. It feels nice. I like how they've got this texture here It's always nicer when it's got a bit of texture on the stick and it's not just like completely smooth <laughs> Shut up. It's been decapitated um, But the one us one's like completely smooth all the way and it just like doesn't feel as nice to hold. Let's look at the functionality Flashing And more flashing but like the Cravity one, it's kind of got that um, like holographic -y effect on the plastic on there. So it makes the line, like the light reflect off it really nicely. You can't see because of filming a fucking light, but yeah, to me, it looks really nice. I feel like I'm a little bit biased at the moment because I did just have a call last night with one of the members of Only One Of. So I'm kind of like riding on the high of that and I'm very obsessed with Only One Of right now. So everything in my head is like, oh, give it A tier, give it S tier. But I will try and be, you know, not biased. I mean, One Us is my favorite group and I gave their light stick a C tier. So... It doesn't spin and there's no colors. <laughs> I think also because it's new as well. Like some of my other light sticks, I've had them for a long time. So I'm like, oh, you know, I've, I've seen them, lost interest a bit. This one I've only had for like a few months. So it still feels like really nice and new. C plus. I feel like my ratings don't make any sense. I'm just like going on feels and vibes. I mean, that's how I live my life, just vibes. That brings us to the end of white sticks with bulbs with things inside category. Okay, great. We're moving on to the next category. It's kind of more sticks with bulbs on them, but they're slightly different. <laughs> I'll go with the one that's most similar to what we've just seen before, which is the Xenary Heroes light stick. Again, this one's very brand new to me. I actually just pulled it out of the box just before for this video. You can see it's not white, it's silver. <laughs> You've got that bulb um, glitter on the bulb. Love that, as per usual. Xenary Heroes in nice shiny font. The X in the center is mirrored, which is really nice. On both sides, it's mirrored. And it's, I like that it's black, like the inside of it is black. It just really stands out. And you've got writing on the inside here as well, just saying we are all heroes, which is kind of again, yeah, like one of their slogans. You cannot see this on camera. Oh, there we go. I just have to hold it in like a really random spot. <laughs> Around the base here, there is some texture. I think that's supposed to look like a waveform, like a music waveform, which is kind of nice. And then the button is, like a bass clef kind of thing. What is that? No, like a flat. <laughs> All this music shit. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? A nice gray string this time, not white, with Xenary Heroes in black there. It feels really nice. It feels heavy. When you've got these kind of like bigger things in the center that are just solid, it just feels nicer to hold. 
and the little bit of texture is nice there for the thumb. On the back there, it says Villains, which is the name of x Heroes fandom. Yeah, I am. I am a villain. <laughs> I'm forgiven, I'm a villain, I'm a... Have I even turned this on before? I don't know, maybe I haven't. Maybe just to test it, let's see. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> okay, maybe I haven't turned this on before. That was really cool. Oh, <laughs> the way that turns on is so satisfying. It had like a wave effect. And those colors are insane. That pink and green is one of my like favorite combinations. Hey. All right, so that's the first one. Second one's just the whole thing flashing. More flashing. Ah, that's so cool. Oh. Oh my God. Now I really want them to come to Melbourne. I think they will. Oh, that's it. So you got your four settings. I just think that is fucking incredible. Oh my God. Amazing. Quantum fluctuation. <laughs> I love that. Oh my God. I honestly didn't think this was going to be really high up tier until I saw that. I must have not turned this on before. I know that makes me look like a terrible person. I'm going to have to put that probably in A tier. Those colors are just gorgeous and how it's got multiple settings where different things actually happen. Fuck yeah. Batteries. <clears throat> 80s! <laughs> this again is, you know, one of those kind of classic light sticks with the clear globe, but it is a different color, so I haven't put it in that initial category. I actually really love these colors, that kind of rose gold with the black. I should just say that this is the original 80s light stick. They do have another version now, but I don't have that one quite yet. I think I will be getting it sometime soon. Inside you've got, it's like a timer, one of those, what do you call it? An egg timer? It's not an egg timer, is it? You know those timers where you like turn it over? Like a sand timer. I don't know. What's it made out of? Glass. Plastic. Sand. Glass. Timer. What's the what's length of time? Second. Longer. Minute. Longer. Hour. Now put that in front of me. Hourglass. Hourglass? Hourglass. <laughs> oh, that's where they get the hourglass figure from. <laughs> yeah, so this has glitter in it. The little hourglass has glitter in it. And I think it used to kind of move around in there, but now it doesn't because it's just kind of stuck in there. But yeah, no rotation or anything with this one. This is actually a globe as well. Yeah, it looks like one of those old globes, you know, the ones that like would spin. You'd sit them on a desk and it had that thing for some reason. Oh, it's so it could spin. <laughs> it's like the axis where it could spin. You are nailing this. But <laughs> it's got the countries kind of engraved onto it, which is nice. Where's Australia? Oh, there. So on the little axis thing here, it says eight makes one team, which is their team slogan. And then it's also got 18, 10, 24 on there, which is their debut date. The stick is black, rose gold with a little keyhole. Pirates of K-pop is kind of their, their concept. So that's why it's all very like, you know, navigation and like the globe. And then this little like keyhole, like a treasure kind of box thing like that. On the bottom, you've got 80s in the rose gold and a nice black string with 80s again in the rose gold. Overall, it's very aesthetically pleasing with the colors. I'm not a huge fan like of the globe and part in the middle itself. It does look a little bit cheap to me, but it does have a lot of like details, which is nice and it has glitter in the middle, I like the glitter. A lot of people complained at the time about this part because it was really easy to like snap off. But apparently the new light stick has an even bigger problem um, of just like the top part, just completely like flying off at concerts. <laughs> um, like if you're doing it too much, it just like comes off. So everyone going to 80s concerts like tapes the top of their light stick so they don't just end up just throwing bits of plastic into the crowd. I'm just like, whoosh, just taking people's heads off. Well. Yeah. So you're gonna be worried about crazy stands and shrapnel. Light stick shrapnel. It doesn't feel amazing. Like it does have a kind of like, you know, that kind of matte, like soft finish on it, which is kind of nicer than just the smooth plastic. Let's look at the functionality of it as well. Let's go. <laughs> white. Flashing white. More flashing white. Wow, that's pretty extreme, that flash. And then you've got like a multicolored. That's nice. It actually makes the um, the center part 
look like a lot nicer. Let's press it again. So that one was like a warm colors and now you've got like cool colors of purple, green and blue. I like the look of the warm colors better actually. And off. Yeah, so that's probably my favorite setting. I think that looks really nice. Iconic, Iconic. light stick. So it kind of has to like boost up in the rankings a little bit. So I think I'll give the version one 80s light stick a B minus tier. But is B minus the same as C plus? <laughs> Okay, I'll give it a B then. Now we're moving into a completely different category. These ones have something different on the top. It's not just like a clear bulb anymore. We will start with the Twice version one light stick. There is another version of this, which is a lot cooler. I went to Twice concert last year after they'd released the second light stick. I mean, and ahhing about whether I was gonna buy it. I did end up buying it before the concert and then I got there and it turned out that all the new light sticks were paired up with the concert and it was all synchronized with the different lights and the whole crowd, you know, had the same color and the same pattern going on. And my old light stick was having trouble like getting synchronized with everyone else's. So I spent a lot of the concert like getting frustrated that it wasn't working. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed and I wish that I had bought the new one for that concert. But now that's finished, I'm like, well, I'm probably not gonna buy it. So this is called um, a candy bong, actually. I guess because it kind of looks like a lollipop or something. Doesn't look like a bong. <laughs> sure doesn't. Got um, like a Twice logo in the middle there and this kind of like tiered section in the middle. And then a big ring around the outside. Logo and then a button with the logo. It's got a little Z here. That was what they called this version. I think I called it version one, but I think it's called like Candy Bong Z version or something. There you go. It says it on there. Candy Bong Z twice. That's kind of rubbing off actually, which isn't great. It feels very heavy on the top. It's almost like too heavy on the top. And this has batteries in it because I just put them in. So it feels a bit like weirdly weighted, which top isn't- heavy, some might say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's top heavy. And it's also like very smooth, which, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel like the best thing to hold. So let's check how it functions because the light on this is actually pretty cool. So let's have a look. Whoa. Love the colors, the pink and yellow or pink and orange. Just look really nice together. And yeah, it does have that more like candy vibe now. Look at the second one. It rotates around like that. And then I think, what is that doing that's different? Just faster? Or it's pulsating a little bit in the middle. <laughs> you can't see. It's reflecting off the table nicely. Yeah, you can't see the beautiful colors on this camera. But yeah, I think that's really pretty. I love the colors. I don't know, there's, there's things that I like about this and things that I don't, you know? It, it looks okay. The feel of it, I just don't like the feel of it. It's way too top heavy. I think I'm gonna give it a C plus, but that's literally just for the colors. Okay, this is actually like, really difficult okay that's really different from any of the other ones to open it up you do like a really weird twist thing and if you didn't know what to do you'd get very confused so the next one is victon's light stick i really like the design of this i think it looks super cool their fandom is called alice and they have like kind of a lot of playing card kind of depictions and this really like feeds into that so it's like a club and it's just unique you know you look at it and you're like yep that's victim's light stick you don't have to like mess around and like look inside the globe and be like oh whose logo is inside there diamonds here which is where the light comes out from and you just got your little button pretty simple like white stick so it's not a key oh yeah, maybe it is a key <laughs> you're right it is a key <laughs> yeah so it's got little um what do you call these prongs teeth for the key. So you see things that I don't even see. I just like buy this shit and I'm like, yeah, it looks cool. And then you're like, Kate, it's a key. This is the only video so far, I think, where I haven't spoken about key, like the artist key. And then it still comes up. <laughs> Stop banging on about key. Yes, so you got your little key things there. And then it says Victon on the bottom on that really annoying thing that pops off. And your little ribbon with Victon and the little logo there. Feels all right to hold. It's not as top heavy as the um, the Twice one. It is quite like evenly distributed, 
but it is very smooth here. There's nothing really to grab onto. I like the texture around here, but maybe if they had that sort of coming down a bit more, that would be good. Let's have a look at the functionality of it. Boom. I love these colors. It's like turquoise and like a light green. It's nice. It's unique. It's like the, the twice one. Like it has those two colors that like are really complimentary. And just a flashing one. And then like a, a pulsating. And then I guess it gets rid of the, wait, what is this? Just more pulsating? No chance. No chance. <laughs> This is one of those ones where you have to hold it down, turn it off. I swear you need like a piece of paper with all your light sticks written down and what they do, how you work them, so that when you grab them out, um, you know what to do because it can be kind of confusing. It's so unique. It has to go up in the tier list. People see this immediately, know it's a Victon light stick. Unfortunately, I don't think I will really ever get to use this because Victon aren't really that active anymore. I'm trying to remember what I gave other things to like tear it against everything. I thought you lived on vibes. You're right. I do live on vibes. And this is B tier. And the last one in this category before we move into my two favorite light sticks is the wavy light stick. Everyone says it looks like a leak. You can hold it over your shoulder like a, uh, what is it, Fero? Uh, so you got your V, and this is the uh, the classic NCT green, as you guys probably know, wavy are uh, part of NCT. So all the NCT light sticks um, have this kind of color on there. On the little base here, it says wavy, uh, a little logo of a V there, and the V again as the button. And they also have um, wavy written in Chinese here. As you can see, <laughs> there's been some damage here. I don't even know how that happened. Like, I haven't done anything with the slide stick. And that's not a very good design, to be honest. Is that a U thing or is that a glue thing? You or glue. I think they're literally just glued on there. So if something, you know, something gets under it, it's not good. This one has a kind of a unique thing that it's got like rubber as the strap. I don't think we've seen that yet, have we? No, it's been like fabric. It's got like a little metal V thing here that you can undo it like that. It's kind of nice. I feel like this could also break really easily though. Like that could snap super easily and then you just have like a really ugly bit of plastic. But also doesn't that mean like it could just fly off? Off your wrist. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I mean, people do get pretty vigorous at the wavy concerts because they're just like really sexy men. Um, I've kind of been hiding the other side of this because like I might get canceled. Um, I put these stickers on it and it says Lucas. Yep. Unfortunately, he has been kind of kicked out of Wavy and NCT, but he's still under SM Entertainment. And I think people are optimistic that he's gonna bring out solo music sometime soon, which I think he will. Um, there was a bit of a scandal that went on with him. Um, I won't really go into the details or my opinions on it, but you know, Lucas. Doesn't feel that great to, to hold, to be honest. Like I actually don't really like this rubber. The feeling of it on my skin is a bit gross. Um, it feels really like cheap and flimsy. I mean, I guess also because this is one of my older light sticks as well and it's kind of broken. It kind of ruins it for me, like doesn't feel that like nice and new and expensive anymore. Functionality. All right, let's have a look at the functionality of this thing. Oh, okay, <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna work. There we go. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just a white light, but obviously it comes out as green because it's got this uh, green plastic on there. Flashing and more flashing. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, pulsating. Love a bit of pulsating. <laughs> really not one of my faves, not gonna lie. I actually really don't like it. I'm gonna give it, yeah, it's going in the same tier as Ace. It's going into D tier. Sorry about it. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. These are my two favorite light sticks. And they're also the, like, the most unique and most crazy light sticks. The first one I'm gonna show you is the DKZ official light ring. It's not called a light stick, it's called a light ring. This, I haven't even really played with this that much because I only recently got it when I was in Korea. I've wanted it for a really long time and I'm really happy that it's finally mine. So let's have a little look at it. We can open it in this camera if you like. Ah. Oh my God. 
Already it looks cool, right? So yeah, it's like a D-shaped light ring that's completely different to anything we've seen. Grab out the little strap as well. Classic strap. White strap with a just DKZ written on it there. This has like a little clippy clip. What would be the point of that? Oh my God, you can see my face. I <laughs> feel like this is supposed to be like a, uh, what do you call those things? Like it's got like bells on it and it's like, tch -tch -tch -tch. yeah, like a tambourine thing. Is this not a laser gun of some kind? Well, it, you'll see it does kind of look like a laser gun when you get it started. Feels like a tambourine thing. Cause if you're like at a concert, this is how you're using it, right? You're like, woo! It's also been called a staple gun and kind of, chuk -chuk. but you think it looks more like a, uh, like a laser gun of some sort. Like a sci-fi, yeah. Yeah, I see that. It says DKZ here. Yeah. And then this whole part is like, like a light strip, the little hook for your, strap this opens up for the batteries it's like very different from anything else you've got a little panel here which is the um the button to turn it on and then like yeah a reflective surface here which you'll see the you'll see the point for this so look i haven't even taken this plastic bit off should i take it off yeah i'll take it off for the video oh, how's that you can see there it's got a little speaker on it Ah, this light stick is fucking mental. It doesn't feel amazing in your hand. Like the grip isn't that good. It just doesn't seem to like really fit. I'd like if there was some grooves or something that you could kind of keep your hand in a little bit more. And it kind of feels like you want to hold it like that, but it's got to be like that. I don't know. There's something about the uh, ergonomics that's not quite right. I'm sure your wrist would hurt a lot after using this all night. <laughs> Oh no. Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to hold it, then turn it on. So this is what you're greeted with when you first turn it on and that sound as well, which actually scared the shit out of me just then. It's a nice color. I love that pink. All right, let's press again. Green. <gasps> Rainbow! I love that so much. Yep, um, and now it's gone into a different mode, which I'll have to show you on the other side. This might not turn out on camera at all. Can you see that? I don't know what it's doing. This, this is just, I remember I turned this on when I got it in Korea and it literally just starts doing random shit. Like, I think it's, oh, it's when you move it, it like does different stuff. See, if I stay still, it doesn't do anything. Is it, when I speak, does it change as well? Ah! No. <laughs> oh, no, I can't show. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's got this, like, I don't even know what you call this. The old infinite void reflectors. Yeah, so it's got, like, just lights in this section here. Just one row of lights, I think, and then just a mirror. So it looks like an, in, like an infinity mirror type thing. And the DKZ looks like it's going all the way down, too. It's so freaking cool. It's fucking weird, but like, it's a vibe, you know? It's like fun to play with and look at. But I have no idea what all the modes are. Okay, light mode, two seconds long press, melody plus love potion, lime punch, rainbow flow, melody, tambourine, infinite mem, infinite mirror off. What? <laughs> I don't know what this is. I love the infinity mirror thing. I think that's so cool. And you can also like, you know, if you're at the concert, you can be like, oh yeah, just check my makeup. So yeah, look super unique. The feel is probably my least favorite thing about it. It doesn't feel that great to hold, but again, it's a very unique way to hold it, which is fun. And the functionality of it, even though I don't know how to fucking use it, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of different options. Um, the melody is kind of fun. The infinity mirror, the rainbow, like, yeah, it's just, it's really, really fun. And I think going to a DKZ concert and everyone having these would just be like an insane vibe. I, I'm kind of here for it. I'm gonna put this in S tier because I just think it's really cool. DKZ are a small group from a small company. And you know, I keep saying this, but when you see this kind of stuff, 
um, from a smaller company. It's just great, I love it for them. If you haven't checked them out, you really should go and check them out. We have arrived at the last light stick for my tier list. Zero base one. Zero base one. Finally, I'm gonna say something positive about Zero Base One in a video. I think I've mentioned them in two other videos, but it's been negative things. So I'm glad that I finally get to say something positive about them. So this is Zero Base One light stick box, which I think is beautiful, which is why I included it in the video and I didn't really include any of the other boxes. A super nice color and it's got, yeah, Zero Base One on there in this kind of like holographic print. Let's open it up, shall we? Ooh. It feels real regal opening it. I don't know why. It's the blue color. It's like got this real royal feeling to it. So yeah, zero base one again. Ah. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cool. So again, not really a light stick. It's more of a light ring like the DKZ one. The other group that comes to mind that has a light ring is Itzy. It's kind of like a bracelet thing, I think. Or is that twice? Twice have a bracelet as well, I think. Yeah, it's just, it's unique, you know? Let's have a little look at the details. Got your white ring, the base of zero base one here, your little strap with zero base one in that, that lovely um, royal blue color. Oh my God, there's a bug in this. <sighs> Peace Still Resistance here though is this um, lovely flower top that's on here. I think it's supposed to be a rose because the fandom of Zero Base One is called Zeros. And then you've got this little cute little face on here, which also means, you know, Zero Base One, but it looks like a little face, which is so cute. Little flower with a face. It's cute. Reminds me of Tamagotchi. Yeah, oh my God. It would be cool if it was actually like a, a living, not a living thing, but like a... <laughs> if it was like a little Tamagotchi inside, that would be so cool. This is the light stick that I was talking about where a lot of Zeros have gone in and decorated it themselves. Cause you can actually take this out and then you can like put stuff in there. Like a lot of people have gone and put like fake flowers and like plushies and stuff inside. I was thinking that I kind of wanted to put a plushie in there. But yeah, I really love this light stick. I display this on my Zero Base One shelf, so it is actually already getting a bit a bit dusty. But yeah, it, it's really nice. I love the look of it. How do I hold this? Like you can't just like have it, oh shit. <laughs> Break my wrist. You're not gonna hold it like as a ring like that, right? You gotta either like hold it like this, like a rattle. I guess you can put your little, your little strap on. Strap on. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! If you're at the concert, you're kind of just like holding it and doing it like this, which cannot be good for your wrists. Maybe you can hold it. No, you can't hold it like that. Or you could hold it with two hands and be like, woo! <laughs> I've held a Wii steering wheel before. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit like that. <laughs> it has little divots kind of in here that I think are supposed to, you know, make it feel a little bit better to hold. It is quite light though, like it looks huge and it looks heavy but it's not super heavy which is nice like the top of it isn't that heavy like the ring feels quite sturdy it doesn't feel like it's going to break easily which is nice shall we have a little look at the uh the functionality this actually has completely different battery it's got like the actual you know tradish little battery thing here you have to hold it down <laughs> Um, so that really illuminates the face. Uh, you cannot see shit. Let's see down here. Nope. I can see <laughs> that it's lit up the little face and it's so cute. Next setting, blue. Oh, you can see the face now. Blue isn't their like official color, but a lot of their, their merch and logoing and stuff is all like this royal blue color. Let's go to the next setting got like a, not pulsating, it's going from like left to right, um, blue and white, which is kind of cool. It rhymes. What rhymes? And then you've got it like going from the center out in the white and then the blue. And then like a little circle one. <laughs> what happened? I thought we killed another battery. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess that's how it turns off, which is kind of weird. It would have been cool if it had a setting where it did the spiral. I like the two different colors, but more than that, I like the kind of pattern of it. The going across and like the swirls and the pulsing, like it's quite unique like that. Yeah, this is one of my favorite light sticks. Again, a little biased because I do love Zero Base One. I just love to see something different. I mean, it is just a white ring with a bulb with a thing in it, but, <laughs> but it's cool. I love it and I can't wait to use it at their concert, hopefully sometime soon. This I am going to also put in the S tier. So these two have made it to S tier, DKZ and Zero Base One. Everything else is in C tier. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had, I had some A tier and B tier. So that has been it for my light stick tier list. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time in another video. Bye. Even though the last video didn't get 2 million views, the 2, mil 2 million views, 200 million views, <laughs> we got a new table. Splash now. It's great. I can actually put stuff on it now. Massive sleigh. Last night in that call, the guy was like, where are you? I was like, I'm at home. He's like, why is the background so black? <laughs> yeah. You got categories for this one? Yep. No, not really. I've got like a... <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually don't know. 12, 15. I was going to count them, but then I forgot. Well, maybe I'll take both. Just double, double hand in them. <laughs> There's Every always. Time. Can't help yourself. Because <laughs> I've forgotten the name of the Pokemon. Far fetched. Ah, oh, far fetched. Far fetched. Interesting. It was part of it until you pulled it up. <laughs> I didn't pull it off. Just, I don't know. Why have I not got my head around this yet? I don't know. Fucking mess today. It's because this is completely white, it just looks shit on camera. <laughs> they used to be called um, Donkiz. Donkiz. Like D O N G K I Z. Well, Donkiz. Yeah. Donkiz. <laughs>